Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're going to play some more Prosperous Portugal in Europe Universe Souls 4. Thank you for the reminder of war taxes. I still think this is sort of a silly thing that you have to remember to do. I feel like they should just they should just make it automatic. I don't I don't get it. You suffer from the Aztec. That's going to be a no. Yeah, I'm still rather upset that I canceled that colony, but it does happen um, from time to time. So, oh well. I think I'm going to do a different PC. I'm going to ignore Zapotec. I don't know why it's doing this, but you'll notice that if I have 90% war score here and I like say take Zapotec, all of a sudden demanding Zapotec without un occupying any forts in the area. But if I don't take Zapotec, then they don't care. So for some reason, Zapotec is special. I tried. Tried looking at the regions to see if maybe uh, it was in a different region or something. It's not. It's not. It's the same, same region. It's a uh, region Mexico. Region Mexico, so it's not that. I tried looking at states. No, nope, definitely have ports occupied in this. I don't know. I don't know. But it makes sense. So, yeah. Mm -mm. Castile will pay 32 ducats. They lost a war? Weird. Well, uh, we don't have enough troops to siege that. Let's go ahead and grab some of these guys off. Get started on that. I mean, we'll try to siege Zapotec if we can, just to to make it happen. Got caught spying on Mr. Sofala, whatever his name is. Global tariffs or gain corruption, but we gain global seller increase till the end of the game. Well, one corruption. That's just a little bit of money. Versus money, which is money. I'd rather have the global settler increase, I think. So yeah, about those colonies. Uh, can't believe we got to start over again. So what do you think he did? You know, the colonist arrived and he's like, "Well, I got orders. Shoot everyone in the face. <laughs> Just murder them all. We'll bring in new ones." Ugh, what a silly, silly thing. Uh, we only have like six months or so, four months left until the golden age ends. Um. Getting counter espionage right now by this fella. What can we do about colonies? Let's see. So you are at just started. And then just started, just started. And even with that, we only have four active at the moment. Alright, we're gonna recall him without killing it, hopefully. And the next colony is going to cost us a solid mm, 10 ducats a month, I think it is. 2224. Yeah, it's going to be plus 400% off base, which is going to make it a 5x multiplier equals 10 ducats a month. We can afford that. The one after that would be uh, plus 900%. So it's 18 ducats a month. We could almost afford that too. England has no air. Last I saw, I think England was mad at me. So that's not a big deal. Rebel uprising, Sunni zealots. Might be something about it. England has colonies close to us. Ooh, England's colonizing now. He has started down here. Just now. He is Protestant, so he doesn't care about the Treaty of Tordesius. Looks like we're going to be declaring some colonial wars soon, huh? England's got a golden era. Yuck. That means mine's ending soon. That's not going to be good. Okay, these guys are currently rebelling or attacking him. I don't really want to fight this guy's army. There is another level 1 fort here, though. Could be something we do. I mean... Alright! Age of Reformation is upon us. Sad times. Look at that, we went from like 170 down to 97. Yuck. So, join the Reformation. Change the state religion to either Protestant or Reformed. 
humanist or religious, convert some provinces, create a colonial empire, convert another nation, Asian trade, and unify culture. So there goes all of our good stuff. Our golden era ends April 1517. We've got three more years on that at least. We've already converted eight provinces, so that's nice. Have several colonial nations as subjects, so at least five colonies. We're going to get that. I've already forgotten now what the other benefits to the Age of Discovery were. I know we had all of them. We lost a lot of good stuff. Sad times. Perhaps when this one falls, it's a level 3 fort. It's gonna have a hard time with that. Tell me you have your fort on. Good. I wonder if he's going to merc up for that. Probably not, actually. Do I have some land force summit? I've got three. Alright, we'll build a couple more troops up here to help out. We have the Blasphemy Act available. Tolerance of heretics. Hmm. Provinces we own that are not our religion are not heretics. They are heathen. And we're so far away from the Reformation, I th think we could probably afford to do this. Let's take that decision. Let's check uh, conversion times now. 30, 35, 38, 47. That's with a missionary. And of course, with the clergy being super upset. Gotta wait a little bit longer. Except that holy law expires in February. I have not really been doing much with the clergy ever since, uh, I don't know. I think I took like 150 admin points from them in order to do some some idea stuff something like that burgers are also currently disloyal so not too keen on doing development at the moment inflation doesn't look that great just do a little tiny bit come on take this fort please there we go that should do it Ah, uh, shoot, that's occupied by Taraskin. So now I can't demand it, which means I also can't demand the other gold mine. Taraskin, you dog, what have you done? Subjugation of the Aztecs. So you're trying to, like, make him your... In <laughs> should take him over completely. Well, I gotta tell you, man, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Savoy's so guaranteed by Austria. So he's got only 10 war score. So obnoxious that I can't, like, step in and force him to give that province back. I wanted to take the gold mine and the fort. I suppose we could, we could maybe go for the capital instead. Still gives us a fort. Weird that I'm allowed to demand it, even though no one will be able to core it. Alright, so we want you for the gold. We want you because it gives us this adjacency. Over you have a castle. Let's not take that, instead take that. We want that for the gold. Don't really care about that. Want this just so we have adjacency, but we already have adjacency, so this one doesn't really matter. Fort. I'd like to take Tlaxcala. Okay, gold, gold. Fort. Don't really need this one, actually. That's gold. But now we don't really have a contiguous connection here. I guess we kind of do need, like, one of these two. This one, I think, will do it. Alright, cool. That'll work. Not quite willing to give me everything I want, huh? 
Whatever. You're done. So yeah, we don't have a, uh, a conquistador to do any exploration right now, but that doesn't matter too much. Sunni zealots, 80%. They, um, I think should stop being an issue as soon as we are at peace for just a few months. Sorry that we, uh, we're gonna get rid of the war exhaustion and I didn't take any land for myself. I didn't even check to see if this guy's gonna be overextended. Don't really care, honestly. 2.85? He's fine! He's fine. I wonder what his income looks like. Got, uh, Portuguese, Mexico... Really? It's not making anything from trade? Oh, price of slaves goes up. Nice. My, uh... Losing my mind here. Okay, we're crying out loud. Stop it with the events. I'm not pausing the game. The game keeps pausing itself. How come you're not showing any income from gold? I guess... Do, do you, like, somehow have your gold income, like, rounded down to zero? Because... I know they send treasure fleets, but I thought that they got some of the gold for themselves, don't they? Hmm. Alright, so... Hmm... These guys are at 65% now. Soon. Soon I can start giving some stuff back. We definitely want to give them the generate the, the donation. Not yet, actually. I think it decays faster than the cooldown, so. a claim on this guy and a claim on some other subject of his right now. We'll stop spying on him. Now down here, this is part of the mission. The Fulani Separatists are rather upset. 20k at 90%. Wow. Rachna. What have I done to piss you guys off so much, hmm? A little bit of intolerance, but that's for the Sunni faith. We haven't lost any tolerance of heathens, so... What's changed to make us less happy about that? This is... I mean, I don't want to fight 20,000 troops here. I think it's far more important to put that one down than the, the Sunni rebellion. Sunni rebellion would only be 11k, that one's 20k. Or no, the, the Sunni ones... Oh, that's why. It's because it's not Sunni, it became... Fulani instead of Sunni Rebellion. Well, in that case, we should just start converting something. Let's see first if I can actually put this rebellion down. I was totally gonna help you with this, buddy. Why didn't you let me help you? Alright, whatever. It's your own problem now. Okay, um, it's gonna be a while, I think, till we can attack over here again. Then again, he's probably also gonna have some rebellions, because he's bad. So, this is what, pure infantry? Yeah. All 
I'm sure he probably turned his forts off, because why would he have them on? Mothballed, mothballed, fully maintained mothballed. Okay, he kept one of them on. That's a start, we'll take that. Pretty close to being able to put this down. Well, I want to start converting so that we can try to get this uh, these last two and then have a colonial nation. So create a colonial empire. Have central several colonial nations as subjects. We have four colonies right now. Uh, according to this, we've got... Yep, those four. Where else can we form a colonial nation quickly? This is already, so we got La Plata, we've got Brazil, Colombia, Caribas, Mexico. I'm confused. That seems like five to me. Oh, okay, okay, so Portuguese La Plata. This isn't actually formed up as a colonial nation yet. Gotcha. We've got one, two, three, four. This will make the fifth. As soon as that's done, we've already got the colonial nation in place. That's good. Alright. That's that one. I am not going to go Protestant. We're going to stick with Catholic, because we want the, the Treaty of Tordesias. I think the main thing I need to do next is attack the uh, that guy down in Africa. One too many for here. Need two more there. <laughs> you see more troops everywhere. We bit some regimental camps. Need more force limit, I think. Two years ahead of time. We do have um, Diplotech 9, so we can be studying technology, yes? Yeah. Alright, who's got the most tech? We got the Knights with level 28 tech. Um, 28 for you, a bunch of dip tech. Does anyone have admin tech? 10. Lubick and Salzburg have miltech 10. Not a big deal, really. Our colonial nation's doing alright. I think we should spy on the Knights. Assuming that he's not going to immediately counter espionage me because he's a jerk. He still did something. Come on, you silly gooses. Stop being all rebellious, huh? Vasco da Gama in India. Seed Goa to Portugal. Portugal gains a claim on Goa. Seed Goa, or we just get the claim. Well, yeah, uh, sure. So Vijayanagar, how strong is? Oh, okay. So you're saying if I were to take this, it's pretty likely that Vijayanagar is just going to turn right around and attack me for it, huh? He became the first Portuguese to reach India when he landed near Calicut. Uh, despite protests from Arab merchants, De Gama managed to secure trading rights with the Zamoran ruler, but later failed to produce the gold required to pay for customs fees. On the whole, this expedition turned out to be very profitable. Alright, sweet. Let's take it. It's mine. Er, mine. You don't get this now. Immediate trade company, raise autonomy, and start the core.
Okay. Well, that unfortunately is going to raise unrest a little tiny bit here because of the un the overextension. I think it's time to, to bring this army home. And if I have to go defend this guy from his rebellions, then I'll send the troops back. But we can clearly see he's going to have some issues soon-ish. Four years. 4.3. I got time. Let's, let's deal with this. I want to put this rebellion down and then we can focus on other things. We should have a small army somewhere, right? I always having some issues. Ming's doing stuff. Cool. Okay. I'm going to put a cut in here. As always, thank you for watching. I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. See you soon.